Hi, my name's John. Welcome to another Sunday night nightcap. Tonight's nightcap, I do a repair on a woodworking plane. It belongs to a customer. It's coming from work. It's got a crack in it. So I have a go at welding that. Then I make, a, or at least Deb helps us to make a trolley to go on a bench to store some boxes of heavy steel offcuts. In part two, there's more steam engine stuff. I have a look at a clack valve or a, a non-return valve off a steam boiler. I've got two to look at uh, to see about repairing or reconditioning those. I've got a record woodworking plane here. It's not a particularly rare one or a particularly good one. But it belongs to somebody and has sentimental value. It was probably his dad's, I'm not sure. And it's cracked all the way through there and right through the bottom, right through. And he wants me to try and weld that up. If you weld it, it's that thin, it will just pull and crack. So I'm going to clamp it up, I'm going to veer the crack out, and I'm just going to braze it. Uh, oxypropane, either braze or silver solar, I'm not sure which, and then just dress it up. Um, nice gentle heat to the flame is much better than the TIG for an application like this. So we'll get it clamped up nice and square, veil that out and then go from there. Right, I've got it well clamped up, got it by the ball so to speak. I'm going to grind this crack out and then repair it. I need to go. I need to go all the way through that. Really, I put a slitting disc through there, um, so I get some material to, to weld a decent penetration. I've kind of got to fix it now. <laughs> Take the paint off the inside of there. We put some general heat to the whole thing first. And I've got some flux cord breathing rod here. But I've also got some extra flux. Well, the teacher just knew when to stop, and I think now the thing to stop. Just let that cool nice and slowly, and then we'll dress it up, and it should be alright. 
It's when it's doing that and you hear a ping noise as the bastard thing cracks somewhere else, but I don't think it will. Uh, there's enough elasticity in the brace to allow it to contract without cracking. Have a look. I'm going to knock the thickest of the brass off with a grind down, then we'll be filing it. Like a decent repair. This tool is really meant for wood ballering, but it does quite good at dressing up castings like this. Cleaned up quite nicely. Uh, some nasty marks in there, probably been cleaning across a nail or something. But well, I'm quite happy with my repair. Uh, it should sort of last forever, that now, I think. Wood barring is not my thing, but I'm doing it for now. That's actually a piece of mahogany. That's the old door frames given. Uh, basically, to burn. You kind of burn wood like that. We're keeping for an engine base or whatever. Anyway, we do a sharpening and setting up. There's various controls to set it up. But it is, once again, functional. This is my preferred method of butchering wood. There again, I suppose I'm biased. for a, a steel trolley I'm busy making. Yeah, there's a lot of this sticking out the chuck here. Centre. Make sure it's 90 degrees to the job. Like that.
This is the frame that Deb's just welded up. Well, let's just drop on there like that. Just so I can slide it under a bench, but it has got to carry quite a lot of weight. Splendid. It's amazing how much our welding's improved now that <laughs> you can see what she's doing. And that air fed mask. Uh, it certainly helps because that chest not that good really well I mean she's got a tiny, ch tiny chest like but our breathing is not that good I'll get wrong one this is what the little trolley is for I had some boxes under this bench and they're really heavy they're full of steel and you couldn't drag them out there's big bits of steel in there I know exactly what sort of material it is, it's all either minus C or A and 8 and that's all 316 stainless so now I can simply roll it in out of the way and then when I want some metal I just roll it back out I haven't got to fight and crawl on the ground one thing I did do, I made it a quarter of an inch too wide and it won't fully go in but I think it's an improvement to what, I, what I've been doing of course that one doesn't fit in there neither the fucking scabby bastard Anyway, neat, tidy, out the way.